Uh, hello, welcome to A-List. We're about to play a game of Kill Team here. Uh, so it's me, Tony, with my uh, Chaos Demons. I'm going a bit too, um, chaos, uh, too blood letter fire teams. Uh, and we've got Chris. Say hi, Chris. Hi. Right. Uh, and Chris is playing the Death Court Kriegs, Master Militarum. So just have a quick look at the uh, two Kill Teams. Uh, the blood letters have a fire team of six, so I've combined two of those. I've got one uh, Blood Reaper who acts as my leader, who gets an uh, extra wound and hits on two with his Hellblade compared to the normal fighters who have uh, nine wounds and hit on threes. Uh, I have a Horn Bearer who can basically help with the charges um, and an Icon Bearer who can help with the involved saves of people close to him. So that's uh, the Blood Letters. Um, over to Chris. Right. So, Death Corps, Krieg, Chris. Right, and in my squad, in my kill team today, I'm playing the uh, operative kill team, which is a 10, uh, ten strong men. Uh, I've got uh, my leader, and also there's a sniper and a medic. Uh, we have some special weapons with flamers, plasmas, and multi melters. Flamers don't sound kind. Yeah, that's that one. Not when I'm charging you. <laughs> Uh, I have my zealot, uh, a comms, and uh, a brute and a hardened. Which what, what does a zealot do? Uh, a zealot is more, it, um, it boosts you, man, it gives them an uplift, uh, as in it like, uh, it, it makes your critical hit, crit hits better. Um, oh, it's the critical Yeah, hits yeah, it uplifts six. you, man, makes right. them the swing better. And comms? Comms range, uh, it'll expand my orders. That my ah, right, so can speed for, yeah, so yeah. a couple of sizzles later, right, okay. Yeah. Uh, so Chris is a bit more shooty, uh, I'm a little bit more bashy, um, so we'll see how that goes, because the uh, scenario we've rolled for is uh, loot and salvage, uh, so that sets our board up width ways, um, so it gives me a short distance potentially to get uh, to Chris, um, and we've got to loot and salvage. Uh, basically claim those objective markers across the middle there. Each objective marker can be claimed up to four times. Right, okay, so plenty of BP is on offer, um, so we'll get to uh, deploy. Okay, so we've deployed uh, here. I'm the attacker, um, and I've lined all my demons up, a uh, three-inch mark there behind various... Uh, bits of terrain and they all have the conceal order which means that they cannot shoot or charge on this turn um, but given that I can't uh, reach in for the charge and I have no shooting weapons it only makes sense to conceal them and that means that Chris can't shoot them with his, uh, all his different guns um, if they the are side. either within if, if they're in open in the open so they're not in any kind of cover or if he has a vantage point so, Chris, similarly, just to show it from this side. Oh my god, I've been a bit brave down here where I've got a good bulk of um, demons, and these are his main guys who can do some damage. So, we'll see how this goes. The loot and salvage is three times you can uh, loot a objective marker, so we'll put dice on them as we go. Um, I'm attacking, so I'll go first, so we'll do turn one, which with all this concealing, maybe mainly movement. So I'll check in at the end of the turn. So Chris made a good start and use of some CP um, with extra dashes, which got his snipe up to here, who fired off two shots. Managed to take out this guy who was here, because he's got the vantage point so he can shoot the concealed, and he took six wounds off uh, my blood letter who was here. Uh, and on my vote, I've managed to get the third. So that gave Chris a victory point because he has uh, victory points for his secondary whenever his sniper takes somebody out of action. Uh, and then I've got a victory point so far for moving to here, looting this objective marker, and then the free dash, which I took uh, at the start of the game for one character, uh, has moved you on to there. So that's where we're at so far. So... I've uh, dashed up a couple of um, blood letters to here. Chris, with his free dash uh, command point, has been able to get enough to charge. Actually, my horn bearer, I was trying to tuck to the side because uh, he's quite useful to have. Um, but uh, Chris has managed to uh, charge him, so we'll have the first fight 
action of the, uh, of the match. Yeah. And it's uh, filling upside down for some reason. Right. So Chris has got three attacks hitting on threes. I've got four attacks hitting on threes. But he has the stun trait. Oh dear. So that was close to being two crits, wasn't it? It was. Uh, so I've got lethal five plus. So my crits are fives. So I've got one crit and one hit. Yeah, I was rolling in here. So I've got one critical, one hit, and um, I can discard one of your hits with my um, with a, my bruiser with his trench club. Mm. It has the stun keyword. Yeah. So if I get one crit, I can uh, negate one of your successful hits. Yeah. If I had two, it would be an APL. Well, your issue there then is though, if you get rid of my normal hit. Yeah. I'm left with a critical, you're left with a normal hit. Yeah, so I can get rid of your critical with your critical. Oh, in fact, in fact, if you hit a critical, does that mean you can just remove it, regard it? Yeah. Yeah, all right, so you basically, so that critical and critical cancel each other, so you've got one hit, so what's the damage there? The damage is three. Three? Yeah. So we've had a little bit of advancement, there's a bit going on down here. Uh, the Kriegs have managed to have a pop shot across here, but completely miss. Uh, the guy who was here and has now advanced to there. Um, we've each got uh, two objective markers done so far. Uh, and Chris has charged his leader into my fighter here. My fighter has three wounds remaining. So, what's your attacks and I hits? have four attacks hitting on threes up. Four Thanks. attacks hitting on threes up is the same as me. I'm, uh, I'm on lethal fives. I'm on lethal fives. We're both the same then. So, it should be good. But I'm out three wounds. So, Chris has rolled. One crit and one hit. Yep. I have rolled and knocks everybody over. Do you want me to? Do you want to read with that cock one? You can do it. First? Yeah, it's definitely cock. So that was a five, so that's one critical. Yep. Uh, made of that cock one. That is a miss. So I've got one critical to cancel out your critical um, and two hits. So we'll go with one hit to me. One hit to you. Yeah, which is damage four. You've, you've hurt me damage far. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, so my last one, are you, are you taking that? Oh yeah, I did do, yeah. Because I had two hits. Ah, oh, so you blocked it and then hit with one. Yeah, so yeah. Block, crit to crit block. Right, so he's got eight wounds, so he's on four wounds now. Four wounds. Ch ch I mean, I've got to give it to Chris, because charging bloodletters is quite brave, especially when you've got guns. But it's uh, good fun, so yeah. good stuff. Oh yeah, second day. Uh, Alright, well, I'll tell you that in a second. Oh, okay. um, so, the end of the first turn, Chris has scored four objective points because he's got um, three loots on the objective markers. Uh, sorry, four victory points. I say objective points. Four victory points. He's got three loots on the objective markers and his sniper took somebody out of action, which was his secondary. I've got two loots um, and my secondary is looking pretty useless, actually, because I chose if I take out uh, one of your... Uh, men within six inch of your uh, deployment zone and I was banking on you hanging back and shooting me but quite crazily you've charged forward and so far it's paying Good off uh, but we shall see so we're going to go into priority for turn two just a roll off yep I right, got four and one so priority to me this could be interesting I'm going to play two CPs we get one at this stage don't we um, so my first CP is going to be Unstoppable Ferocity, uh, which means until the end of this turning point, I had one to the attack characteristic of all my melee weapons. So I'm attacking with five, not four. Um, and, oh, sorry, no, that's, I'm going to you keep that one in, in, uh, in my pocket to help defend if I get shot at, which is, which is Warp Surge. So I'm playing just the one CP right now. Yep. Are you playing any? Um, I'm going to play a CP, um, uh, clear the lines, which uh, in a fight phase, I can retain one, uh, one dice as an automatic successful hit. Okay, yeah, yeah, you played that last time, so yeah. that just helps you uh, squish me entirely. So we'll get going with turn two. So we've got a bit of action. Uh, I've come up here and taken out his uh, medic. Um, He's got some flamey shots into this guy who's lost a bit of, uh, lost a few wounds there. 
I don't come up here and take him out his is that his salad? No, I mean, oh, Common's guy, Common's guy, so that took two fight actions there, and his sniper's about to have a go at this guy here. Yep. Uh, okay. Four attacks, Five. hitting on twos up. Two so was, any sixes are critical and three mortal wounds. So no critical, so you've got three hits. Three hits. Is it minus AP? Uh, it's not, no. Okay, so I've got three five ups. One, One. save, so two hits. Uh, it's two damage. Uh, no, it's three damage. Three damage, so six damage. So he's down to three wounds. Are you shooting him again? Um, uh, yes, I will. Okay, because his sniper's not moved, so he can shoot and shoot even though it's concealed. That's a pretty cool trait to have. So, wounds, fours. So, three hits. The three hits. And three fives. Uh, one critical. Um, there's two hit, it's two to cancel yep. out critical, isn't it? So I've just saved one. Yeah. Uh, no, you've, you've, you've beat me twice. I beat you twice? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because one critical is yeah, so uh, just uh, uh, so he's out. Yeah. So you're dead. Dead duck. So we finally had a bit of action down this side. Chris has been nice and brave, but it's backfired. My extra dice on the attacks and the CP and getting a bit of assistance in has paid off. I've killed his bruiser and his zealot. Uh, and now this guy is looking very scared indeed, uh, protecting this objective marker, but I can't loot that objective because Chris has already been at this turning point. Um, so I'm down to 10 blood letters and Chris is down to 6 men. He's got the victory points in the bag at the moment, uh, but we've got 2 turning points after this one. And I'm starting to get a bit of a numbers advantage with uh, the demons. So I've completely wiped his guys out down this side, but uh, the veteran guardsman on this side has jumped down and multi melted the hell out of my um, blood letter I had tucked away under here. Uh, so it looked like I was getting a number advantage, but he's hitting back quite hard. Okay, so I've brought my um, blood reaper, my leader effectively down to assist in this bout. Chris's last action this turn is decide what to do with his leader. Uh, his lead is on four wounds, this blood letter is on three wounds, so he's got the chance to have a good go at my leader or try and see this one off. So he's going for the leader. He's going for the blood reaper, so uh, which is probably a mistake because I can swim with him, but he's insistent. So uh, I've got, uh, well, it's always two plus anyway with the leader, so I've got five at two plus. Well, three ones, that will help. So you got one automatically through, haven't you? Yeah. I've got one crit and one hit. What have you got? I've got three normals. No, no, I've got one crit. Is he five two normals? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to spend my last CP just to reroll that last dice, which it didn't matter. Okay, so all the CP has gone. So you. Uh, so I'm defending, aren't I? Yes. So I'm going to just have to take a hit there. I'm going to cancel. Crit with a crit. Crit with a crit uh, and hit with a hit. Yep. So I'm going to take. How many damage? Four. Four damage to my leader. So that worked out quite well for you, that. So uh, my leader is on, my blood reaper is on six. Um, we're going to stay with this action yep. because my next one is. Oh, I've got a second action point for me, leader. Because it's that rolling his first action point. Yeah, he's already engaged, so you're going to yeah. swing for now. I'm going to go back for your leader. Alright, so same sequence again. So um, automatic hit. He's got an automatic hit with his CP at the start. And then go ahead and let you roll for the odd parry in. So it's one crit and one hit. So one crit and two hits. Okay. Oh my word. And oh well, my I've word. got, that's gone very well, four critical hits. Uh, I think now I choose, so what have you got? Crit well, I'll use, uh, I'll let, no, one crit to one crit, one hit to one hit. I'll take four. Yep. And see you off because that's 18 damage. So his lead is out of there. My leader took some punishment there, but that is that. <coughs> um, and the Death Krieg Corpse. I've got three guardsmen. Cause you want to down to three men I don't against think. nine blood letters. Um, I've taken a couple of people out within six inches of his um, deployment zone. So I'm up to six uh, VP and about to claim some more looting. So. It's looking like a bloodletter day. 
I can't uh, tell. Think so. Yeah, as I pointed out to Chris with his uh, death creep cards, he should have been shooting at me. He was very brave, came very far forward, and at the end of turn two, he is left with three men surrounding his side. He can do a bit of damage, but he can only shoot at one or two at a time. Um, and I'm now winning, is it 9-5 yes. on victory points? Um, I think this is going to be over in turn yes. three. But Chris uh, and the Death Court Kriegs will fight to the death. They will, they will, I'm still going. So, turning point three came to a rapid conclusion. I was the attacker and had the priority in the first round, which didn't matter too much, but then I've rolled and won it twice. Um, and so the demons, uh, the bloodletters, demons, call them what you will, were able to talk quite quickly. I had to take out his main man, went up and attacked his sniper, didn't kill him. Um, they managed to parry one another, but the sniper only had the option to fight back and died as a consequence of that. Uh, my turn took another one out, and so we, uh, Chris and the Death Cop Kriegs were down to one man. I've already got a huge uh, BP advantage. So we're calling it there. I don't think that this is a reflection of how no. good the two uh, armies are. I think Chris was too brave with his tactics. Can you take him more? Because uh, he did quite a bit of damage with the sniper there, didn't you? Yeah, my idea was to pull you into the centre mm -hmm. with a small group and then fall one back and engage, but you you mopped up everything that we're going to show. I think if you took more advantage of it, if it had been me, because I've played that side of the army before, like, oh, I'm Dilak in Necromunda and I... I stick my long rifles up at the back and things. I think if you take more advantage of vantage points and felt and tried to draw me right back here, yeah. that's what I thought you were going to do. And that's why I chose the um, secondary objective yeah, of you killing you with air because that would have taken me longer to get to you. You could have picked me off yeah. and taken a few out. That was what I was banking on. It's worked out in my favour, but uh, we've, we, this is our third game of this, and we're really sharpening up on the rules, so that's the main thing. They've all got las guns, and I didn't shoot one las gun. Yeah, that, you should have just been doing as much shooting as possible, yeah. you know, uh, anything you did, which you did at the very beginning, and I was yeah. a bit worried, so your sniper um, took out two straight away, even though it was on the conceal orders, because you have the vantage point, yep. um, and that was uh, basically should have been the tactics throughout, but, you know, fortune favours the bold, uh, he came and he took on the blood letters, um, but these hell blades that they have with four yes. attacks, the command point which give me five attacks, uh, you know, really good damage with them. They're just a little bit too good in hand to hand overall. I think there's been some bouts I was expecting to win with the rolls. I've not been able to do that. Chris has used some good CPs some there. Good to, rolls, but... Yeah, yeah, you've, it's, uh, so it was a good battle, but uh, the numbers advantage and the, the, the level of hand to hand we've gone for here uh, has given a win uh, to the blood letters. So thanks again, Chris. You're welcome, thank you.